So, familia, Angel Anderson here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm asking a question from Facebook from Ellsworth William. If you want your question answered, just leave me a comment on any of my posts and I will do my best to answer the question with a video. So here's a Ellsworth question. He's looking at podcasts uh, and interviews. Any recommendation on equipment or organization? Which is better, Zoom or go to meeting? So let's start. Looking at podcasts and interviews. You can combine interviews with podcasts. Uh, are you know why you? My question is why you want to start doing podcasts because everybody else is doing them. Uh, are you? Can you do what is that you're doing right now that is working? Can you double down in what is working before you jump into podcasts? But if you're dead set in, in starting podcasts, the only equipment that you really need to start is a an iPhone or a smartphone and just record from that. However, if you have some funds, let me open Amazon real quick. Let's open Amazon. And I will say that you can get, you can start with the Rode uh, Laugh, Rode Laugh. And when the video ends, I will post all the links. I'm going to open them. So th I have two of these. I have two of these with an adapter and these cables. I have all these cables. So I will tell you why I have these cables and I have an adapter that allows you to, let me see if I can open the road so you can see it. The reason I have this laugh is because I can use them with my smartphone and I can use them with my camera. So whenever you decide to upgrade or things like Zoom, like a, a audio recorder, so when you have to upgrade or you feel like upgrading, you don't have to buy new labs. The only thing you need to attach this laugh to other uh, like a DSLR or a, um, a Zoom H1 or, you know, audio recorder is this cable. So as you can see, this cable, this cable has two lines, which is a, is a uh, TR, it's TRS and this one is TRRS. It has three lines. So it converts this laugh mic from three, from a smartphone to a regular 3.5 millimeter cable. So you do need this. Now there is other cables that you can use. Let's see. Let's see if it's this one. No. I want to see if I want to see if you have them here. If not, let's see. We don't have them here. I'm gonna leave it like this, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see if I can see it in the comments. There is a there is an adapter which allows you to connect two smart smart labs into one connection. I'm gonna show you now. I do have these cables, two of these, because. It, sometimes I'm really far from the recorder, from the camera, and this, these are extensions. I like to stay with the brand. I, I, I don't like to buy s stuff that is not, um, that is not um, off-brand. So let's see, Rode uh, Audio Adapter. Let me see if I can find it, and I can show you which one it is. It's something like this. Maybe I can... Find the link with more time and I can show you later. But it's something like this. It uh, allows you to plug two laughs into one adapter, uh, one connector. And you can use this, uh, this adapter. That will be the basic equipment. Two laughs and it's connected to a smartphone if you're just going to do audio. If you want to do video, then just you can use the laugh and the, the laugh mics and the smartphone and a, any camera, and then sync the audio in post. I know microphones that I'm testing now are the Shure SM58, and the one I'm having I'm, I'm using right now. I bought the ones without the on and off switch, and the reason I bought the ones without the on and off switch is because sometimes you are in a hurry and you forget. Now, the one I'm using right now is the ATR uh, 2100, which is a USB slash XLR cable, uh, XLR microphone. Let me find the one that is alone so you don't, it's $65. And you can pick up two of these and you can use them for interview people, handheld, and, and also you can use them to connect them to the computer. So these will be the microphones that I, I will suggest to start because they are the cheapest and they will work. Equipment. If you want to buy an audio recorder, the cheapest one it will be the Zoom H1. They have the Zoom A6 right now, but this is the newest one. I have a blue one. 
Yeah, I bought it cheap and I really didn't matter the color, but this is the Zoom. Now they do have the new ones. Uh, I don't own one, but I'm looking at buying one is the Zoom H6. But the Zoom H1 have worked flawlessly. I never had any issues. Uh, so we're talking about, so far we covered microphones, audio, uh, recorders or the mic and how you can sync. Now to answer the question, uh, what is better, Zoom or GoToMeeting? I used to do go to meeting for a long time and go to meeting and Zoom you can do you can do if I'm not mistaken you can it's free to start for one on one conversations and you can and so you know if it's you're talking about price Zoom is free go to meeting is like I don't know, like 19 yeah 19 to start now Zoom will become more expensive than go to meeting once you start having more than three people. However, so here are the plans for Zoom. Free one-on-one -on -one meetings, unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings, so they can be along. But if you have more than three people, so here is uh, what they say. Let's see. Zoom offers a basic, let's see, need. So if you have more than three people, so... On meetings with three people or more total pa participants, you need you, they only can be in the free one. They only can be three uh, 40 minute long. If you want to jump to the pro, which is 14.99, and then you can go start going from there. Now, my advice for those: if you're looking to do video, you do YouTube lives, and then you leave them unlisted. You leave them unlisted on your on your uh, platform. So basically what you do is you go to the live stream, you go to the live stream and you create a, an event. And when you create a quick event, let's say you want to create a new one. Now this what I'll this is what I use. I want to leave them unlisted. However, if you want to invite the public, you change it to public. I don't never use it private because people you got to, you know, people lose the link, the password and all that. So I leave it unlisted. I do the title and I just click go live and that's pretty much it. That what I love about I never it has never failed until this day, touching wood, and it always records them and I can just do whatever I want with the video afterwards. So I, I like the YouTube live option be on top of any of the other ones. I've used go to webinar and go to meetings, uh, but that's what I do. This, that's my recommendation for your question. I hope this answers your question. If you have more Feel free to leave it in the comments. I will do my best to answer your question with a video and show you what I mean. All the links to what, what we talked about is going to be in the description of this video. And uh, leave me your question. Talk soon. Bye. <laughs>